Hey, what's up guys? Some of you probably know that I'm still working on version 2.1 of the Arduino scope. Uh, it will be officially called beta. A few improvements there of course and added support for uh, Altazimut mounts, Dobsonian mounts. Um, 1 and 2 uh, star alignment methods and also a support for Stellarium, communication with Stellarium. I'm not going to um, make a demonstration of all of the features right now. This video is to simply demonstrate how Stellarium works with Ardu Arduino Scope. So without further ado, I'll jump in. Uh, as you probably can now figure out, my telescope is home positioned, connected to Arduino Scope. And I need to start the Bluetooth communication. Um, the Arduino scope communicates through Bluetooth with uh, the st with Solarium, so it is a wire-free setup. Now, um, what we need to do is open telescopes. Uh, I have created a record here for my telescope. And connect. Once we hit connect, uh, Arduino will start sending uh, information about its location and you will probably see that here on the screen uh, 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 a label with Arduino scope will pop up. Well, let's start this and yeah we have connection and yeah we have also the label. So let's select an object Whirlpool Galaxy and ask Arduino scope to go to this object. Once I hit slew, um, within 5 seconds uh, the Arduino scope will, uh, Stellarium will send comment to the Arduino scope and the Arduino scope will start moving. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and here it is. You will notice on the screen right now that there is uh, information uh, that this object has been uh, pushed through Stellarium, uh, but additional information is not presenting there, uh, simply because Stellarium does not uh, provide additional information. Uh, and once the slew stops, Arduino scope will again send its location and we will see it appear here and there it is of course you can also use additional plugins that Stellarium provides you like ocular view to see what's in the telescope right now and I'm I have set my C8 telescope with 25 millimeters and that's the view okay let's select another object let's say M3 it's important to say current object so that Stellarium knows what to send clicks and within five seconds again and yeah as you can see no wires wires free uh, except of course for uh, the motor drives and also power supply yeah we have stopped and right now we are waiting for the marker label for the Arduino scope and here it is again what's in the scope okay guys uh, I hope you like it uh, there are a few more improvements that are uh, that will be included in uh, release 2.1 of the Arduino scope so hope to hear from you soon thanks for watching cheers bye bye